So they got them here at Chic Steel, the shop LeBron 160 on the retail freeze. Very adult colorway of LeBron 21. All the other ones, 119, so 120 for these. 89 bucks for this LeBron 21. Definitely a solid colorway on these. 120 for the uh, smoke gray. This is the place they got these eggplants on deck and on sale too. 120 or 200 on the retail, normally 250. And they finally have all three colorways of the producer pack for the KD 17. It's the Alchemist colorway right here. Metro Boomin, probably the best colorway out the producer pack in my opinion. Still full retail at 160. And then finally, they got the Bink colorway on the KD 17. Also, all three colorways of the producer pack here at this chic location. Still full retail at 160. So of the three colorways that you see them all next to each other, which one do you guys like the most? I still think Metro's is better. Then you got Binks, then you got uh, Alchemist's. I just like the materials that they use here a little different, like some denim on the tongue and sock liner. You got the leather hint on the back. Uh, the materials used on here is kind of, you know, cool, but I like what they, what they did with the Bink, but the colorway, I think it's the KD-17. And they too have the KD-17 USA. So they got all four of the most popular KD-17s right now at this location here by the mall or in the mall at Culver City if you guys are looking for them. Some flights down here in navy blue and the maroon colorway, also pretty dope. Still priced at $139 on a retail. Air trainer low, and then you got the Miz right here. All these colorways we've definitely seen before. Probably one of my favorites out of the selection right here. Priced at, what's this, uh, 59 bucks. And this colorway is priced at 49 bucks, super dope. These are priced at 59, and these are also priced at 59 bucks as well. First time I saw these was at Nike Santa Monica. These are definitely fire. Color combinations on point, that like your light blue or university blue. Suede hint on the back with the leather right there too. These are classic, bro, 90 bucks on the retail for these. And I believe this is definitely some USA vibes. You got the navy blue, white, the gray hands, the gold right there too. Definitely some USA vibes on this Air Max 1 right here. Let me know if you guys are a fan of these. I know a lot of times I'll be calling them Air Max 90s by mistake. But these are definitely clean. Air Max hit right there. Give me your thoughts. They got some more Cortezes here, which we definitely seen. The Obsidian colorway, priced at 69 bucks, and so are the other two. They got the blue Vimeros here, marked down to 99 bucks, normally 160 with the shorts right here to match. Solid selection of Air Force Ones here, black colorway. Of course, this green is pretty solid too. Also got the runners and everything like that. A lot of things other than that we have seen before, so we're not gonna duplicate it. Just wanted to see what they had here. Dunk selection is always on point here. A lot of different colorways to choose from. And they do have the uh, Panda Suede at this location too. I'm drawing a blank as if we've seen these before. Still got them priced at 99 bucks. And look at this. They got a foam runner here. Don't know if this colorway is something that people would want. Don't know how many sizes they got left, but they do indeed have them. This is size nine in hand. Let me know if there's anybody out there who's interested in these. If you will remember, I would definitely scoop them up for you. But they got a size nine in hand. And finally, now stores are starting to mark these down. Normally 225, marked down to 89 bucks, $90. Normally 220 good to see that man hopefully they go down even cheaper but the nmd is starting to pop up on sale as you guys know the selection of mids and just retros for women are always on point here at this location as i'm scanning nothing here new let me just take a few look at some shoes and see if anything is on sale like i wanted to know if the lattes were already on sale but they're still priced at full retail might be a newer colorway for the women in these comforts let me know if you guys are feeling these or not still 150 so everything else is pretty much full retail here Definitely like these Jordan 1 lows here. That's why I talk about them. Got them here still for retail 125. Everything else here we pretty much have seen the last couple times we came here. Okay, this colorway on the Gore-Tex is marked down to 159, normally 200 bucks. And this colorway on the Gore-Tex is still uh, priced at 200 bucks. Still a solid colorway though. Showing this retro because I only seen this one at, at this location in Drip LA. Only two stores that I've been to recently that actually has this Jordan 1 here. Let me know if you guys are a fan of these or not. Very solid colorway for sure. They do have some sizes left in this Jordan 1 Low OG. I know a lot of people do like these. They do have sizes left in these Jordan 4 Oxidized Greens. And the Jordan 13 Done Red still here available. Just wanted to check the price on these. Some places got Jordan 1s down to 89 bucks. These are still 150 Still a big fan of these denim Jordan 1s right here. Let me know if you guys like them. Definitely like this denim better on any one of the previous denim ones they've done. Definitely fire.
JD Sports Culver City. Let's go ahead and see what deals are here or if there's any shoes that we haven't seen yet. Let's go ahead and see as soon as you walk in. We got the Jordans over here lined up. Let's see if we got anything on sale. $95 on these Jordan 1 mids right here. 105 for these. Still priced at 130 here on this Jordan 1 Panda. The other ones are 155 still. Some of the same things we've seen when it comes to retros over here. We got these SEs down to 110. Some places had them here for 75 bucks. These guys got them here for 110, normally 125 on these. These Jordan 2 3s, a lot of people like them. What other colorway is next to That's the question. What colorway do they have the next coming of this shoe? Jordan 2 Pythons down to 90 bucks. Normally, what's that, 170 down to 90 dollars on these? That's actually a pretty good price point for sure. Got these priced at 85 bucks on them, normally 125. Definitely an SE Jordan 1 mid. Uh oh. Definitely a clean situation here. And uh, $90 on the Green Glow Jordan 1 Low. Also got these on deck too. Very solid colorway on this Nike Dunk Low. Seen it plenty of times though. Need these to drop down to like 75 bucks. That would actually be a pretty good price point on these since everything else is on sale. I feel like this is like a newer colorway that's had hit the stores recently. That blue gray, not mad at these. We got these at 115 now, normally 180. They're going down lower and lower on the Air Max uh, 2013. Vapor Max Plus down to 120 for the red one. That's definitely fire. Shit, these down to 122. Or 120 also. Air Max 97s. Normally 185 down to $95. This pair down to 100 bucks, even cheaper than what we just seen. Super dope, man. What's going on with these markdowns today? 85 bucks on these. We definitely seen these priced down before. Let me know if you guys are a fan of these or not. Definitely seen these Air Max one around. Pretty sure they got a full size run of these also. Priced at 90, as you can see, normally 140. Whole bunch of more markdowns that we've seen before. Romero's as well. Nothing that we haven't seen already. Check out some Jordans. They do got the 13s right here that just came out. The Diamond Turf still on deck. Very classic shoe here, still available though. So they got these down to 130 from 210. The Gore-Tex Jordan 8. That's actually a pretty good markdown on that. Let me know what you guys think about these. Look at these. Classic, classic right here, man. We can't deny these. Air up tempo, air more up tempo. Olympics, man. Scotty wore these, right? Definitely a fire situation. Let me know if you guys are a fan of these or not. 125 for the LeBrons, 105 for these jaw ones. Actually, a good price point for these too. Should drop a little cheaper pretty soon. Like how they got these for $90. Definitely makes more sense right here. Stadium Green Penny Hardaway is down to 90 bucks. I wonder if they got a full size run of these. Does that mean there's a 13 available? I'm trying to see what's going on with this, but I think these are definitely classic. $90 in the retail. You can't go wrong with that. If you got a discount, get them for like 80 bucks. This indeed is a size 12 in hand, so they at least got a size 12 in that. Classic. Then we got the um, KD16 All Star colorway down to 90 bucks on these. Definitely fire on those. And then we got the uh, Ja One uh, USA colorway. I like these ones as well, man. Not mad at these at all. $120 on the retail, so they're a little cheaper than what the uh, that reverse scratch is. Super fire nonetheless. Let me know if you guys are scooping these up. Got a new colorway of the Jordan One Take Five. This is Westbrook's budget model. Let me know if you guys are feeling these or not. Retail on these is 100 bucks. So we are used to seeing this around 100 bucks, $99 or $100 on these. But uh, they got these marked down, which is new to 105 as opposed to 160. I like that. All the other ones are kind of priced 140, P6000 we've seen before. Uh, these are not a bad colorway of the Sambas, $80 on the retail for those too. And some P6000s, a colorway that nobody really wants for 85. They still got these on deck as well, definitely fire. Some people told me they like these Air Force Ones. They got them marked down to $100 now. Good quality on these Air Force Ones too, down to $100 from $125. I've talked about these before. I do like this color combination on this uh, Air Force One, the color combination super fire. These Air Force Ones down to $85. Women's exclusive Air Jordan 5 down to $110. Bucks. Definitely a solid colorway on these. Can't go wrong with them. Got these on deck too, the UNC colorway of the more Temple Fly. Definitely clean. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Like this color combination. This is going with that uh, Jordan mid and low we showed in it from WSS with the raindrops on them. I do like this colorway though. Raindrops might be a deal breaker for a lot of people, but definitely some Miami Hurricane vibes. Let me know your thoughts about these. Got the 3M lacing. 
this is what it's at. The outsole is crazy. I like the outsole on this. On women sizing on this uh, Nike Dunk Low. Not sure what people think about them. Got a gum outsole. Three solid colorways of these uh, New Balance 9060s. We talked about them all before. Let me know if you guys are fans of them or not. Marked down to 80 from 150. Okay. Still got this pink colorway on the Jordan 11 Lows. Readily available, I'm pretty sure. And we got this brown and black colorway on this Jordan 1 Low. Give me your thoughts about these. Like we might have seen these before, but I'm not for certain. Let me know if you guys are a fan of these or not. Let's see what's going on here at Foot Locker Culver City. Hopefully something good. Prices are not too much better. Just want to show you what's here in case you're in the area. We have the on running. I'm hearing good things about the on running. Hopefully you can start finding these things on sale at some point. They don't really mark them down too much because people scoop them up, you know. Definitely a loud colorway on these hocus. Do like this colorway on the 2002R, this brown, like wheat vibe. Materials even different than what you normally get on the uh, 2002R. Definitely solid. First time seeing these on deck. No names on the back, just blank jerseys here. What's going on over here? This is a navy blue what? A navy blue one. And they got like a red one too. Or na Okay. Navy blue and gold right there. Pretty dope on that for sure. Probably like 110. Pretty sure they tax them for these, right? How much they going for? 110 bucks. Like navy blue. Okay, not bad. Do they got shorts to go with them? I'm pretty sure they do. Ooh, look at the shorts. And the LeBron next gen right next to them. Not a bad situation for the shorts. $55 in the retail. At least they make them a little cheaper because you know the USA merchandise was expensive as hell last time, bro. What do you guys think about this whole little setup right here? A lot of things on sale, a lot of red tags. Just screenshot to see if there's anything here you want. Let's see what that John Morant zombie's going for. Got a red tag on this, but let's see how much it's going for, actually. 99 bucks. I thought it would have been 79. Got him here for 99 bucks. Not too bad. LeBron's down to 139. Graffiti's at 179. KD 16 Wanda. A lot of LeBron's here. This is like the first colorway. Still 200. See how they be trying to tax people? The algae colorway. We talked about these on the live stream. LeBron scored 40K in these, man. Definitely classic colorway. Materials are not bad either. 129, 129, 149. They're kind of tripping on those prices, but it is what it is. So which panda are you guys going for? You got the highs, mids, and the lows. Think it all looks good. If they just upgraded the quality, you'd be on point. Let me know if you got the feelings now. Yeah, so these mids right here are definitely pretty cool, but uh, it is what it is. It's a panda, right? Retro selection here is pretty solid, but it's everything we've already seen. And the AE1s in grade school in store. No men's pairs in store. It's kind of crazy. I'm by Extreme Board Shop. What do you guys think about these SBs? Not a bad colorway. Look like the materials is on point. Size 8.5 and, and 9 left. Thirty-seven bucks. That's crazy. What am I missing? I like these colorways. Not bad. Materials is definitely clean. Thirty-seven bucks as well. What about these? I think these are pretty solid too. Nike SB Dunk right here. Black and white colorway. At the white and black colorway. But if these are thirty-five bucks, thirty-seven bucks, forty dollars basically. We're gonna scoop these up, but I, I doubt that's what it is. I walked by the van store in the window. I seen these. I thought these looked pretty dope. Nice materials. The colorway is pretty nice. Let me know if you guys are a fan of these or not. 120 on the retail. Just so you know, they do got a sale going on right here at the van's location in the Culver City Mall. Good selection here. And they have the same silhouette in black as well as the gray colorway. Kind of caught my eye from the window. Good marketing. Had to come in here and see what they had. Uh, these are kind of interesting. Maybe it's more the colorway in the upper. You know what I mean? I think I, I think that's why I kind of dig these. Not too mad. Inside Champ Sports to see what's inside here really quick. That door was locked, so let's go ahead inside Champs. Nice situation here, of course. Pretty much the same we've seen everywhere else. I think this might be one of the newer colorways on this Asics right here. Yeah, the gel 1130. I'll be mixing up the names and the colorways. So many different shoes out here. Both colorways is definitely pretty solid here for sure. They got the latest colorway of the Scoot Zero. This one's not bad. Give me Raptor vibes. Everything else here on this side, we definitely seen before. Clearing section over here, but most of it's like gray school and women. A lot of prices that we have seen already. They indeed got these here. All four colorways of the AE1. Selection here is kind of what we're used to seeing, of course. The only thing that's new is finally getting a chance to see the Spazike in the triple black colorway. They call these the Black Cat Spazikes, man. What do you guys think? Something that you would add to the collection. A lot of people like the spikes. Some people don't. Black elephant print. 
But Alvin's got the black elephant print on there too, man. What do you think? Finally, been talking about this, been wanting to see this. What's the deal? Why were they still full retail? They got them down to 50 bucks, which I think is a better price point for them. 120 was kind of tripping. Good to see this on sale. Sales rack here, everything here is 50% off on this stuff. Pretty good merchandise, Adidas stuff. The rack is moving too, Nike shorts. Adidas sweats, 70 bucks down, you know, $50 off or 50% off. Same thing with these jackets and sweaters here. Definitely remember these with the Kyrie logo or the Nike all over them. Definitely a cool little selection stuff here on sale, including these shorts now. These shorts right here with the sunset on them is definitely pretty clean. 50% off on these now, normally priced at 75 bucks. So we're not finding any like sneakers, but we are finding these for my other business. We definitely found some stuff here though. Uh, we got two pair of them. Yeah, two pair of them. They got them here for 30 bucks. They're going for like 90, 98, 90 to 95 bucks online. So we're scooping up two pair of them. Pretty decent, decent, some Ron English Crocs. I believe it came by this table and they got some hats here. Uh, $10 table right here, pretty dope, but nothing that I'm really into. Just looking to see what they have here available. It's like a lot of custom hats and stuff. You got angels, of course. This might be one of the better ones for sure. Fit the hat. Normally priced at 49 bucks, $10 on these. Actually, that might not be bad right there, actually. 714, 7 eighth, size 7 on the, okay. This series was actually pretty limited, wasn't it? Got the pins on them too. One, two, three. That's 30. Let's go ahead and just grab them all. They're $10, why not? Dope. But yeah, uh, definitely a pretty cool little book for all the car collecting stickers. Haven't done nothing like this in a long time, but it was a dope little situation back in the day. Or no, actually at the Grove out here, about to go check out Nike once again. Last time we came here, everything was closed. So hopefully this time it's a little different and we can actually see some stuff that we want to catch. Definitely a nice day out here. Sun is out, it's like 75, 80 degrees. You guys can see Nike right there. That's where we're headed to. Let's go ahead and see if we can find these new Sabrinas. This thing moves slow as hell. Slow as hell, bro. taking pictures right in front of me. People in their spacing and everything is just crazy. We talked about that last video. It still continues. Let's go ahead and slide Nike. Right off the rip, we see another size of the uh, Kobe Girl Dads. Definitely clean shoe right here. I think it's like a five and a half. Grade school sizing left. They got Jordan 11s here too. Look at the wall though. Walls looking pretty interesting. Just as good as Nike Santa Monica. But there is some things here that wasn't at Nike Santa Monica. That's here now. Let's dive into this wall a little bit, y'all. So what we did see at the last location was the Zion SE, Zion 3 SE with the strap. Definitely clean on these. Let me know your thoughts about these. Jordan Stadium 90, same color combination as that Jordan one low we seen with that same Jordan logo on the tongue. Stadium 90s are definitely solid, 140 on the retail for these. Jordan 1 Low Fly East in a black and gold color combination. I haven't seen these before, 130 on the retail. Got the uh, teal colorway, is that? 130 on that too. Pretty dope situations here. They got it in this colorway as well. And the reverse of the previous colorway, previous colorway. Definitely clean, 130 on the retail for these. I'm gonna call them Georgetown Jordan 1 Lows. Definitely like this colorway. Safe to say out of this same pack, either Georgetown or Dallas Cowboys, that navy blue, gray, and white, it's definitely clean. 115 on the retail for these. Uh, then they got these right here, these Spizikes in that new colorway with that same, these are pretty dope. These Spizikes, a lot of good colorways for the spikes that have released. And they use good materials on them for sure too. Let me know if you guys are feeling this. Almost giving me USA vibes too. Comment down below your thoughts. Got the Dunred 13s, the 4s, and these Black Cat Spizikes as well. So they're loading up on the spikes here. Some good colorway for sure. We got the GT Cut 3. This colorway I just seen online. People talking about they're about to come out. We got them already. Maybe they've been out. Maybe they're online. I've seen people posting on Instagram as if they're like on the way. But they're actually here, man. And these are definitely clean. 
190 on the retail, 110. Those are probably like a solid 910, bro. Those are clean. And then we saw this at Santa Monica too. Which colorway of the two do you guys like more? I think both of these guys are very solid in their own right, to be honest with you. 190 on the retail, the only discouraging point. Of course, they got the Sabrina Ones only in one colorway, which is fine. There's another colorway that I thought was releasing around the same time too, but these are definitely fire. We talked about these, even though I have a full review coming up on our channel, so stay tuned for that. Then we got a new colorway of the Nike GT Academy. Once again, Nike's budget model sneaker only retails for 95 bucks, under $100. Got this same colorway that we saw before too of the Nike GT Hustle 2. I like this color combination for sure. They got the KD17s, all three producer pack colorways plus the Penny and the Sunrise. They do only have, uh, unfortunately, one, just one colorway of the D-Book 1. The Rattlesnake one, not bad on these. GT Jumps, and then look at this. They got these already. The New York versus New York, John Morant 1. First time seeing this in hand. Love this colorway for this. Is this the best jaw one? This might be, bro. This colorway is sick. 130 on the retail for that, too. Those are clean. And then look at this LeBron. Oh, I'm sorry. Sorry about that. Heard about these. Just seeing people posting these online. And we got them already, bro. That's the whole point of coming to multiple stores. Seeing what you can come across. Because uh, luckily out here in L.A., we've just been getting things a little earlier than other people. The details on this thing is crazy, bro. Right there, two toe box, not bad. Definitely recommend going up at least a half a size on these 21s and just Nike basketball in general. You know, I'm a fan of these though. Definitely clean on those LeBron 21s. They got the shop colorway as well here. Definitely a dope colorway, which we've seen just a little earlier in the video. And they also got the LeBron Next Gen AMPD. I call it the Fairfax, even though it might not be called the Fairfax. That's what I'm calling them because it looks like the Fairfax colorways for previous LeBrons, man. But of the selection here for basketball shoes, let me know what you guys think is the best selection. A great thing, a lot of things to choose from, that's for fact. Got this whole setup over here for the whole Brazil situation, the whole, not Brazil, but soccer selection. Even though they do have Brazil clothes here too. And these jerseys retail for, uh, they take the retail tag off, so you just have to either grab it and see and make your mind up when, they, when you ask. But this jersey is definitely fire. Color combination is pretty sick on that for sure. Uh, we got some more stuff. All this here is Brazil stuff. Got that style for the Brazil jersey too, which is uh, slightly different from the one we just talked about. Same price point on those. Got the merchandise and clothes and the shorts. Got a whole type of soccer setup here, which I think is definitely fire. So let's go ahead and see what they got going on when it comes to the running shoes. Hopefully they got something worthwhile. USA soccer jersey right here, definitely impressive. Like all white with the USA trim for sure. But then they got all this merchandise right here, bro. How much is this soccer jersey going for? 72 bucks. This is like a different edition for, for the USA. Got the uh, patch right there, stitched in Nike swoosh. Definitely can't go wrong with this setup over here. Even this like almost, I like how the color goes from blue to white and red. That's also fire here too. No retail tag on it, but this is definitely clean. Let me know which one of these you guys like the most. I think maybe I might lean towards that one just a little bit more over that, but all of it is clean. Yeah, this stuff is dope right here. Oh, here it is unfolded. Let me pull out one. USA, that navy blue or that dark blue with the white tie-dye kind of like, yeah, I like these, man. These are definitely clean. For sure, solid uh, retail price. I think we already talked about that though, right? 107, 170 bucks. I don't think we talked about that. Damn, 170 for those? It's dope with some really good material. Like I like the quality of it and everything. $170, I definitely feel like it's much, a little bit expensive for it. That's why I took the tags off of some of these. Yeah, these are 72, 72, but these are much different than that. I take the prices off of them just so you can uh, not really consider that before you decide if you wanna actually scoop them up or not. Nike, got the Otani jerseys, uh, a bunch of different jerseys over there. Oh, shit bunch of different baseball jerseys over here i'm not really familiar with the players but they do got the jerseys here retail for 175 otani jerseys still here too regular otani jerseys and then the new jerseys as well they've added some hats over here I haven't really seen this before they kind of switched up this selection over here 36 dollars a's the b is pretty cool i'm not mad at that colorway though bunch of soccer cleats over here too and we got the jordan 9 low 
golf cleats, black colorway. Not mad at these. Let me know if you guys are a fan of these. The 45 and old English on the back. Definitely clean right there. Yeah, I like what I see over here. A lot of the training and running shoes over here and, and Metcons and different colorways too. Excuse me. All of these we have seen before at some other at some other locations. Uh, triple black colorway on them now too. Okay. From Merrill 17s, and then we got these, which were definitely solid here. The Pegasus 41 Zoom, uh, and that navy blue colorway. Not a bad selection over here when it comes to the running shoes. And they do have that colorway that we talked about, the Pegasus 41, that I do like a lot too. Not a bad color combination on these. First time seeing this colorway on a Nike Air Zoom Structure 25, 140 on the retail. That light blue is pretty decent right there. Let me know if you guys are into this running shoe. Definitely a clean shoe though. The way of the structure 25 they got a few of them here all of them are pretty decent uh we got some more of the trail run the acg and the orange colorway retail on this is 150 pretty clean though and then uh we saw this at nike santa monica i like this acg right here first time seeing this colorway of the nike pegasus trail i like this color combination for sure 140 on the retail for these and then I got these on deck here for a hundred or 260 bucks, which I think is crazy to have a shoe for 260, but the technology must be amazing. It must be amazing. So yeah, that kind of wraps it up for these. And then we, I don't think we've seen this colorway right here of the uh, Pegasus, Pegasus 41, like this cream colorway, definitely pretty solid. Let me know your thoughts about these in the comments below. Black and white colorway of the Zoom GT Cut 3, definitely a solid one for sure. I like this colorway a lot. Black and white, very simple. Let me know if you got to rock with these or not. And they do got the Space Jam 11s here too, man. Super crazy. This is the return. But this selection here today is pretty amazing. That's why I was trying to come here last time. But it is what it is. We're here now. Hopefully you guys do enjoy what you're seeing. Do me the favor, man. Hit that like button. Let us get to 200 likes on this video. We come out here try to find a lot of different shoes for you guys, bring you guys some different options. If you like what you're seeing in the video, please do the favor and just hit that like button for your boy. So we're definitely scooping these up. You guys know what it is, but if not, wait till we get to the house to actually talk about them. Selection of retros and Jordan alike. Nothing that we haven't seen here. Newest colorways are these mids right here, which I am a fan of. These are pretty clean. We talked about these before. $135 on the retail. I believe we've seen these orange ones. For some reason, this orange just seems to pop out a little differently than what we saw before. Definitely kind of glowing off the screen. Am I tripping? $125 on the retail for these. Like this color combination on these Jordan 1 Lows here. We definitely seen these like a video or two ago, but these are definitely clean. Let me know if you're feeling those Jordan Lows. Jordan selection here, definitely not too bad. You know, they got some more of the casual shoes over here too. So we got an Olympic colorway on the Nike Air Pegasus 25 for the women. Cell white and navy blue with the red. Definitely clean on these. 150 on the retail. So far so good, thank you. Definitely, we will do. And then we saw these last time. This colorway is definitely impressive. That royal blue with the metallic gold. Let me make sure we got these colors, these pictures together. Because last time I took them, they came out a little blurry. But these are crazy, bro. I'm not mad at this colorway at all. These ones are pretty solid. I feel like these are slightly different from what we saw in another colorway, but slightly different. Let me know if you guys are feeling these. 160 on the retail. They do got these Cortez, the blue ones we just seen, plus this white one with some leather and patent leather on the swoosh. I like this color combination on the blazers, navy blue, white, pretty dope. Got some more stuff over here. Newer colorway on the Air Max 90 for the women, like a navy blue, sail and white. One, or these only 90 bucks in the retail for these. Future is definitely pretty solid. 150 on the retail for these as well. Give me your thoughts. I know they're not too bad either. Nike Jam, I guess for break dancing, that's what somebody was telling me. I think that might have been a homie Dizzy. Yeah, so these are pretty clean. The colorway is nice, you know. Potential on this shoe for sure when it comes to colorways. 120 on the retail. This was the colorway I saw originally the first time. Black with the kind of gum midsole. Not mad at these. Their running casual shoe selection here is definitely pretty solid. They pushing out more colorways of this Nike Air Force One Wild. I'm not mad at this color combination either. 145 on the retail. White, navy blue and cell Air Force One 120. This one's pretty clean though. It's different. Different and I like it. You know? Can't go wrong with these. One Sabrina 2s. A lot of other running shoes that we have seen before. You guys can see them side by side. You guys like the ones better or the twos? 
You can see the similarities, you can see the upgrade. You can honestly see the similarities and upgrades on the shoes. Which one are you guys rocking with? Women's exclusive colorway of the Nike Pegasus 41. Definitely pretty solid on here. Black outsole, black and pink. Uppers all pink with the white. These are pretty clean. Still retail at 130. And I do like these right here too on the Invincible Run 3. Kind of give me like a Miami vibe. Miami Heat. That's the colorways they be wearing on their jerseys. Very good shoe to try for running or walking. Uh, I'm dropping signs and everything, bro. Everything just... I'm messing up everything over here. So another women's exclusive colorway on the Pegasus 41. Haven't seen this yet, but just want to talk about it since I do see them now. Ladies watching this, let me know if you guys like these or not. I feel like this is a great school exclusive. It's like a white on white with a hint of volt green or teal. I don't know if we've seen these before. They kind of look familiar, but then again, they kind of don't. The set up on the third floor, which is women's and kids. Definitely both of these Nikes that we've been to, the one in Santa Monica and here in Glen or Santa Monica and the one here in uh, at the Grove is definitely on point. So I got a pay station over there. I'm gonna go pay for my stuff right there. I gotta go check out the third, the first floor too to see what's up, but let me go ahead and just pay for these now. Overall, a great selection here at this Nike. Let me know what you guys are thinking in the comments below. Sorry for the Rocky Riders, we're going down the stairs, but I definitely wanna keep recording. But uh, let's go ahead and buy this. Size 13, bro, you definitely don't find 13s too often in basketball shoes, especially popular basketball shoes. And this one was limited to certain areas. So to find this in a size 13, I'm actually juiced about that. Uh, so we're gonna pay for these and then go check out the bottom floor right now. Let's see what's going on here on the first floor. This is where it's gonna really be up for more casual shoes. Hopefully we find something new here that we haven't seen somewhere else. We won't know until we get over here to see what's up. Three Vimeros right here. Colorways that we all seen before. All of them is pretty dope here too. Especially we had this triple black one. Um, but let me know what your thoughts on the Vermeer 5s and these colorways right here for sure. So they too have this mocha colorway on the Dunk Low. Pretty clean, pretty clean. Then we got these, man, it's Ohio State. Definitely clean on these, man. I'm not mad at these at all. Ohio State, a reverse Ohio State, 135 on the retail. Are we copying these or is this an easy pass? These are definitely dope too. I like the quality on these. Almost some SB quality. Look at the leather. Sways clean. They giving you some SB quality on a regular dunk. Is that the case? Don't know how much these are, but they don't say nothing about SB, but the look at the leather. Put it up real close. Suede on there too. Are they stepping up the materials. I mean, the one right below it looks like the cheap ones that we know about, but those are definitely upgraded. Are these priced at 125? Clean, clean. And then they got these on deck too, which are also pretty cool. I think we've seen these before. By far more impressed by the gray ones than these, but let me know of the two, which one you guys like more. Definitely a clean shoe. Some good dunks for sure over here. Those are clean, those are clean too. We talked about them before. Got some, what, snake skin print on the Air Force One. Snake skin print, 150 on the retail. First time seeing this right here, Air Max 90 Drift. So they had the Air Max Plus Drift, now they got the Air Max 90 Drift. Didn't even know when these actually came out. Never really heard about these yet. Something new though, I'm not mad at these at all, bro. What do you guys think about this colorway? Got the Air Max One, definitely a clean colorway, which we talked about before at the last Nike. These are fire, one out of 10, probably like a 10. In this colorway, definitely like the color combination and materials used. Give me your thoughts about them, 140. Power 106 thing setting up a radio station Puma at Shoe Palace over here in Hollywood. I didn't see it till now, but I'm gonna come back over here and check it out when the next time it's here available. Hey, yo, bro, who y'all think got the best handles, yo? Man, Kyrie off tops. Hold on, better than Jamal Crawford? What? Easy.